Aaron Singerman and Chris Aceto here for RxMuscle.com at the IFBB Wings of Strength Show in Chicago, Illinois. And we're going to do a little predictions here, Chris. You ready for some predictions? I'll give it my best shot. Yeah. Chris is notoriously honest, and I like to think that I am too. So we're going to go ahead and start with a – let's just go with four names out of the men's – the open men, okay? And we'll kind of pick them from there. Sure. We have Issa Obiad uh, out of the Middle East. I think he's Saudi Arabia, right? Uh, UAE, United Arab Emirates. Yeah, right, UAE. Uh, uh, we got Fred Biggie Smalls. Um, right here, from right here. Uh, and then we have, let's see, An Wen, who is making his pro debut out of, um, he won uh, Nationals, right? Yep, won Nationals. And then uh, last on our list is... Uh, Issa Obiad. Issa no, 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 where is Issa Obiad? Fred Biggie Smalls. Fr- Ed, Eric Frankhauser. Eric Frankhauser. Yeah. Eric Frankhauser of the, uh, oh, yeah, sorry, Eric, of the humongous Cavs. Yeah. Um, so let's, uh, let's break these guys down a little bit. Let's start with the top, first place. Kind of, this is one of those interesting shows that can kind of go any which way, right? Yeah. Who do you think and why? I, I think this show, I think Fred Biggie Smalls is going to walk with this show. I have a few, I, I just, I, I like his physique. I'm a fan of his physique. Um, he wasn't in great condition in Hartford, mm-hmm. and he was able to be in the running there. And uh, uh, I saw him here. Just seeing him go by, he, he just looked in good shape, right. you know. Whatever that means in a T-shirt. Right, right. So um, you know he's got dense, thick muscle. Um, he's got full shoulders, full pecs, crazy quads. Um, I just think that uh, if he tightened up, that he's got the ability to walk and be the big surprise of the show. That's my pick. So I happened to see. I don't know if um, if George Ferrer showed you, but I, he showed me one of the pictures of Fred Biggie Smalls yesterday. Did you see that picture? No, I just saw. I'm just going. Okay, okay. I'm the technician. So I, I, okay. I don't need it. I can just go by the T-shirt. Yeah. Well, you, you went by the T-shirt, and I, from the picture that I saw, you might very well be right on this one. Um, he looks, uh, from the picture, of course, he looks significantly drier and harder. But I'm actually going to go with East Obion. Um, this guy is a tank. He's a brick. And I don't think that anybody will be in better condition than him. And he's as big as any of these guys. He's not a huge bodybuilder, but compared to this lineup, he's pretty big. So I'm going to put him in first, and I'll actually put Fred Biggie Smalls in second place. Who do you have in second? I would have, I, I think uh, Issa, you know, th- there may be a toss-up between them. If Issa wins, you know, he's, he's thick, he's hard. He had the disaster last year when he had his, his prep was all screwed up. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, he's back on track this year, obviously, after Hartford. And, um, you know, same thing, walking around here, he looks really, really hard in, in his uh, T-shirt, clothes, whatever, warm-up suit. So, <laughs> you know, th- th- I think they're going to be battling about one-two. So now we got Eric Fankhauser, who is, uh, as I said, he is known for the humongous legs. His upper body has always been kind of behind. Yeah. Uh, and then you have An Wen, who is um, um, definitely great shape. Not He was a heavyweight. Um, not the biggest guy. Very good shape. He hasn't had, like, superb conditioning yet. At least I haven't seen him. Um, so he's a wild card. What do you think? Between these guys, do you think Eric will – I know it looks like he's brought up his upper body a little bit, or maybe even considerably. Do you think that that's enough to beat uh, a very balanced on when? Yeah, I think Eric will beat him if he brings the, the, the condition and the shape that he brought when he was really – placed really high in the New York Pro yeah, a couple yeah. of years ago. Um, and if he's improved on that, he may even surprise and move to, you know, who knows, second place um, or even higher. I, you know, I don't know until you – you know, you see these guys next to each other, and Ann Wynn is um, – he's got shape. The pleasing lines, a great structure. If he comes in in shape, I mean, it boils down to you know who's really in tremendous condition because there's no one here who's just going to just outsmoke everyone in the lineup. Right. You know, these guys are really close, really competitive. Right. Um, I like Ann Wynn's physique. I love his physique. So if, if he's in, in great shape, you know, he may uh, walk away really happy after prejudging. Well, on is a young guy. I think 26, at least he was 26 when I interviewed him. Probably I said at the time, and I think that I'm correct, he's the most muscular uh, Vietnamese guy of all time. I, I can't think of anybody bigger than him. No, I, yeah, you, you stumped me. I can't think of <laughs> from Vietnam. Um, so, uh, and then Eric, Eric uh, was great, like you said, in New York and got less great up to the Olympia. If he can yeah. ca- recapture that condition, who, who knows? Yeah. You know, it, it, it makes for a great prejudgment. Yeah, absolutely. Now, the 202, 212 class, excuse me, the 212 class, uh, we got a bunch of guys, in all honesty, that I don't know real well. Um, uh, we have a uh, Bola. Ajax. Ojax, Ojax, yeah, yeah, who I've seen before, who is who does have serious potential. Um, we have your client, Derek Fankhauser. I mean, Derek, Fan- Derek, <laughs> you get Derek you get Farnsworth, excuse me. Legs, yeah. the, the legs he does have some you big legs. He's got yeah. the wheels like yes, Eric he does. has. He yeah. does actually. Um, 
you know, his upper body, uh, we were posing today, his upper body is phenomenal, too. So yeah, he is, yeah. you know, he is uh, he impressed me a lot when we saw him posing. Anybody who hasn't seen, I'll throw that in this. So you can see a little uh, f- um, his posing. He's, he's, he's come up quite a bit. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, to name some other guys, we had Ahmad Ahmad. Yeah, yeah um, he looks tremendous. Yeah, I've heard uh, another George Vera client. Yeah. He's, George Vera's taken over the show over here with everybody. Yeah, that's right. A lot of my guys in this one. There's a lot of my guy, my guy. Um, so... Uh, he is supposedly, this is the best shape he's ever been in, so we'll see how that he comes well, in. Well, that's George saying that, but yeah. let's see. Actually, I, I was asking George, I was like, so George, you got all these guys. Yeah. Which guy's the best? And he's like, oh, I did, my guy is really good. Uh, you know, so he doesn't, he doesn't even know. He's so. a good imitation of him. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, so I, I guess, look, we'll just make a kind of a, we're really throwing like, uh, you know, at the wall here and seeing what happens. But I'm saying, uh, I'm going with your client. I'm going with Derek Farnsworth. Wow. You know, uh, I, I think he's not, well, look. He weighed in, I think, at 167 or 165. He's not the biggest guy. No, he's not. He's not the biggest. But bodybuilding shows a lot of a lot of times come down to who has the least amount of flaws right. and really who's you know done their homework for that show. Um, if there's a guy who's done his homework that I've worked with over the last two years, who's just came from really, you know, who just really improved a lot and showed me that he's got the the heart of a champion. It's Derek Barnsworth. So uh, if Derek's up there in the running, I'll be thrilled. I was telling Dr. Victor Prisk how good um, he's also a IPV pro. I was telling Dr. Prisk how good that uh, Derek looks, and he was like, he was like, wow, ah, you know, thinking to himself because he was saying he's been telling me he can't compete in the 212 guys. He's too small. I'm like, well, we're going to see what happens with this. Yeah, yeah, well, we'll see. We had the same thing last year. A very competitive 202 pound class, and he was in the first call out uh, and the last call out actually. So um, you know, size is not everything. Uh, a lot of great bodybuilders have proved that. Uh, you know, I, I think Derek has a package to be able to be competitive with, with anyone in this show. Well, for uh, Chris, Little T Technician, Aaron Jubaka Singerman, RX Muscle, we are out.